Hello ladies and gentlemen, Hollow here, and today we're going to be going over the top 5 cards in Paragon. And we're going to start off with number 5. Coming in at number 5 is the Brawler's Ward. And uh, with this card you get 6.5 physical damage and 75 mana. But one of the best things about this card is, is that you get Shadow Wards. And they last for 3 minutes if you're jungling, if you're playing in the lane and uh you want you want to see people coming to gank you definitely take this card it's an amazing card i cannot stress that enough make sure that you have physical damage though that's that's one of the uh the downfalls coming in at number four is another universal card and it is the lord's ward and one of the great things about this card is that you get two shadow wards which will reveal anybody near you on the map for three minutes amazing card will definitely help you see people you know trying to gank you from the jungle i definitely this number four and number five definitely interchangeable coming in at number three is the magus ward magus ward magas magus this ward card and uh this one unlike the brawler's ward does energy damage so you know we've got that covered now your gideons your uh you know your deckers your, your murdochs you know whoever does energy damage can use this card and the best thing about it is that you get two shadow wards that you can put on the map and see people it'll ping on the map where they are if they're on the other team and you know if they're coming to gank you or you know you put it in the jungle and you see that you know one dude's afk over on a harvester you can go destroy him you know it's great great for teamwork Coming in at number two is the Lord's Ward. One of the best parts about this card is that it comes with two Shadow Wards that you can place down anywhere on the map. It's awesome. You can actually, when you put the Shadow Ward down, you can see the other team's Shadow Ward. I don't know. That It honestly could be, you know, in first place. All these cards are fantastic, though, and they're all universal cards, so it's not like, you know, it's one affinity or the other. And coming in at number one is the Sage's Ward. It does energy damage as well. It's got 100 health. But the best part about this card is that it has two Shadow Wards that you can place down on the map to save your team from ganks. You know, if you're landing, you'll be able to see the guy hiding out in the jungle, praying, waiting for you to come out. It's amazing. These cards, honestly, these cards could be one, two, three, four, five. They're interchangeable. Please start taking wards. I cannot stress this enough. Why are you f***ing playing this game if you're not going to use a f***ing ward? Wards. Wards win games. Wards win games. Wards. I need wards. Please use wards. I can't be the only person who runs ward. Why am I the only... I don't understand. They're just like, we just did five universal cards that have wards. What are you... Come on, people. Please.